inch too thick. So you would think first chance falls to Ronnie O'Sullivan. One. Good solid pot. My only one pot down, but Marco will be fearing the worst. Not got nice in this red. I don't know if you can avoid the cannon on the black here. Well, it could do. Six. to leave a nice angle on the blue. 13. To go into the cluster. He was just checking to see if there's any plants in the cluster. He didn't want to knock a ball in. Well, looking at that, he's not got a good angle on the red to get nicely on the blue. Yeah, he's going to have to leave the shot. The blue, take the cue ball between green and brown. With right hand side off the bolt cushion, side 14. cushion into the bunch. So this is a shot that could win the match. Got a good line. How's your look? How's your look? It's not bad. It's not bad. He's got himself a chance. But remember, it's a deciding frame. There's pressure on every ball. Well, he couldn't hit this any better, could he? No, he's absolutely superb. And you feel if you can. Knock this red in just over three hours. It's a long match for Ronnie O'Sullivan. Ten frames. But if you can just knock this red in, the other reds are there waiting for a frame and match winning chance. Twenty. Twenty-seven. Twenty-eight. Two reds available into the opposite corner pocket. I think you may just have the angle to come off the right-hand side cushion for one of those two reds. Showing that 35. he needs 68 points, so that's another 33 required from this situation. Normally, you wouldn't think it'd be a problem, but we've seen so many frames this evening where Ronnie's been in this position and not managed to clinch it. If you're just tuning in, this is the final frame decider of the UK Championship semi-final and our feature film, The Dresser, will follow after the conclusion 43. of this match. Forty-four. Only, only a few pots away now from avoiding this defeat, which Looked on, I've got to be honest with you, when Marco Fu was in the balls the last frame, Stephen, and then he got that horrendous 51. kick. 52. 
Yeah, I mean, you couldn't have played the Reds any better, but I mean, you could say the same the frame before. Ronnie was going to win that frame. He got a kick, more or less the same sort of shot, but. <laughs> yeah, it's very true. I have to say there was an inevitability about this when Ronnie got to the table. 60. Yeah, you wouldn't think it was a deciding frame with all the pressure that's on it. He's taken them delightfully. And now he's knocked that in. He just needs one more red to leave Marco Fu Seven. needing a snooker. And now that looks as though there'll be no way back for Marco. Well, what a match. He's had swings, he's had roundabouts, he's had misses, he's had tremendous breaks. But in the end, it's going to be Ronnie O'Sullivan who's going to contest the final tomorrow against the reigning world champion and world number one, Mark Selby. It'd be fitting if he could finish with a century. 80. But I'm certain there were times that Ronnie thought this match has slipped away. 81. Eighty-eight. And this is the nature of snooker. And this is why somebody wrote a book once called 89. It's a Cruel Game. And that's it. Just one mistake from Marco. Went for the long red, just got it a bit too full. And that's the only chance he's had. Yeah, he'll six. remember the kick, all right, that he got. But he'll also remember the chance he had to win. 97. He didn't get good in the yellow, had to go around the table. And then the, the simple shot, and you see the central. Fantastic visit in this deciding frame. Yeah, absolutely vintage Ronnie O'Sullivan in this deciding frame. You can't question his, uh, his fight nowadays and his temperament. He's up for it. He says in his interviews that sometimes he just has to hang on in there and let his form come. And he's certainly raised up a gear here. What a clearance this is in a deciding frame. But yeah, Marco had a chance. Missed the green with the rest. Could have run out a 6-4 winner. But that's all ifs, buts and maybes. The fact is that Ronnie O'Sullivan has taken these absolutely superbly. And what a final we've got to look forward to tomorrow.